like it's only going in one way. <clears throat> All right, Ms. Jones, will you please, when you're comfortable up there, say and spell both your first and last name for the record and for the jury? I'm going to skip that. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. The evidence is going to show that on April 6th of 2017 and forced Travis Rudolph to act in self-defense. Her rage and jealousy set this entire thing in motion. That's what the evidence is going to show. You're going to hear that in 2021, Travis Rudolph was 26 years old at the time. He lived in Lake Park on 550 Teak Drive. I'm going to skip this. But, uh... That you told Travis a million times, I want to leave, and he wouldn't let me go. You remember that? Yes. And isn't it in fact that he was the one that was actually trying to calm you down? Not at the beginning, no. At some point, he was trying to calm you down, wasn't he? No. Isn't it true that he was trying to talk some sense into you? No, I was trying to get my things and leave, and he was trying to stop me from leaving. You also used the word that Travis was acting erratic yesterday. You remember that? Correct. Isn't it the fact that you were the one that was actually being erratic? I would say he started it, and then, yes, I became erratic right after. So after you saw the text messages from Kayla... You actually hmm? had Travis FaceTime her, did you not? Yes. Okay. Did you FaceTime her or did you have Travis FaceTime her? I just put the phone up and pressed FaceTime. Okay. So, so she didn't see me or anything. And the reason you did that was so that she could only see Travis and you could evaluate or watch the way that uh, Travis was interacting with her, did you not? Correct. Okay. And so what did you... After you saw that interaction, you it was your impression that somehow these two had a relationship, right? I wouldn't say a relationship, but something was going on, yes. It was more than a friendship, right? Mm -hmm. Is that a yes? Yes. And that infuriated you as well, right? No. I'm not going to use the word infuriated. You were angry? More hurt. Okay. So you smashed his iPhone not out of anger, but because you were hurt? Yes. You so, also picked up the so she's married and smash old boy's phone because he's talking to somebody else and she's married. Metal trophy on his up. dresser um, and you hit him over the head, did you not? I did not hit him over the head. So what do you do with the metal trophy? If I hit him over the head with a metal trophy... Would you what you did instead? Not if I held the metal trophy up because he was standing in front of the door. I was asking him if I could leave. He said no. So I picked it up and I said, "Let me leave." And he ended up raising his hands up and he said, "Okay, you can go." All right. So you never hit him with the trophy. You never threw the trophy at him. None never. Right. Not at all. Okay. Um, you also took his PlayStation and broke it. Did you not? That was far, for, are we going in chronological order or no? I'm going in, I'm asking questions, you're answering them. Okay. The question was, regardless of the chronological order, at some point you took his PlayStation and you smashed it, did you not? Yes, after I was slammed on the ground, I did. Okay. She broke the so PlayStation? you did all these things, not out of anger, but you did them because you were hurt, right? It got to a point where I was angry, but with the questions that you were asking me, was I infuriated about him saying things about Kayla or the other things you were asking me? That was out of hurt. But did it, it did get to an angry point. Yes, it did. And that's when he was following you outside and he was in your ear telling you that Kayla had a better body than you, right? It was more than that. It was the bitch word, the fuck you, the... It was more than just about a female. Okay, and isn't it true? Let's talk about the B word. You were calling her. him a broke bitch. You were screaming at him out there on the front lawn, were you not? After he started calling me one first, yeah, I, I was. So you called him a broke bitch. What did you mean by that? That he has no money? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. So why was that important 
Why the fact that he had no money? Why was that, why was that something that was important to you at that point? It wasn't important to me because I was still dealing with him when he didn't have money. Okay. But why, why, is that, why was that important at that point when you're being... Um, because he's saying low blows to hurt my feelings, so as a reaction as a human, I'm going to say low blows to hurt his feelings. So you were pretty fired up at this point, right? I wasn't really that fired up, but I was upset, and I was re reacting to what he was saying to me at that point, yes. He testified yesterday before this jury that he compared me to other women. You remember that? Yes. Okay. So besides Kayla, who else did he compare you to? He, it was just, I can't pinpoint names or anything like that. I don't really remember. It was just a lot of different yeah. names, <laughs> who I am, what I am, okay. and things like that. And that, that set you off, right? didn't set me off. I, just, I wanted to go. It was ready. It was time for me to go. It was just getting too heated. All right. Well, you say now you wanted to go, but didn't you tell the jury yesterday, then Travis said, get the F out of my house. Do you remember telling the jury that yesterday? I told the jury that I had to go get my things. You told the jury, then he said, get the F out of my house. That's what you told the jury. Yesterday. Okay. He might have said that. That's yeah. He said that. He wanted you out. He wasn't blocking you. He wanted you out of the house. He wanted me to get out after he told me to go in the house to get my things. So I went into the house to grab my what? personal items that I brought over there. Right. He didn't want you there anymore. He wanted you out of his house. That's what you told the jury yesterday. Okay. He wasn't keeping you confined in there, was he? He was. He wasn't falsely imprisoning you <laughs> yes, uh, on the 6th, was he? He was keeping me confined in the room. That's why I picked up the trophy. And that's why he told you to get the F out of the house. That's, you're not in chronological order, so you're seeing it. At some point, he told you to get F, get the F out of his house, did he not? After he held me in the room and was not allowing me to leave. He wanted absolutely nothing to do with you. Isn't that the fact? I wanted absolutely nothing to do with him. And isn't true, <laughs> yesterday, that said, I don't like you anymore. Remember that? You remember telling this to the jury yesterday? He was saying, I don't necessarily remember him saying those exact words, but he was saying a lot of things. Like like I, I said as... Then why did you tell the jury yesterday he said, I don't like you anymore? He probably did say that. He was saying a lot of hurtful things. So he did say that, right? Okay, so yeah. All right, so he tried to get the F out of his house and he didn't like you anymore, right? Okay. Is that true? Over a million other words, but yes. Well, those, I'm asking you about those specific words, not the other million words that he said. Yes. So he said a million words? Not a million, but he said a lot of other things. He just told the jury he said a million words. So is that true? <laughs> he said other, a lot of other things. You, if you're he said a lot of other things. I'm asking you, if your testimony right now that he told you a million words, if that's an exaggeration or if that's the truth. Obviously, he didn't say one million words. That's what you just told them. But he, he said a lot of other things to me. Are there other things you've exaggerated about during your testimony? Not at all. I've been extremely truthful. See, this lawyer is crazy. So, so, so yeah, this is um, Travis Lawyers. But if she's getting petty, she's talking about, oh, so did he say a million words? <laughs> like, somebody's going to actually keep count of that. But... Uh, as a warning to everybody, you just got to be careful what you manifest. Like, you may could say something with a joking intent or say something and not mean any harm. But at the same time, because of how powerful the tongue is, it might could still happen. That's why it's just better not to speak. Because, all right, let's say you and she did say go shoot his shit up just to, like, say it but not mean it or not really mean no harm or nothing. She should have just kept it to herself, said it to herself or something like that. And we see this case just transpire all because she was hurt over her side piece. Because that's really what it was at the end of the day. I she started feeling like he ain't want her no more. Yeah, I guess.
her marriage is probably not all that good because that's probably why she's doing stuff like this in the first place. So it's like, I guess she's just fed up with losing, but as a warning to black men, you got to be careful who you lay with because sometimes, like my boy Travis, he just laid up with the wrong one or whatever. And now she wants she wanted him dead. And now he defended himself. And now she trying to get him locked up for the rest of his life. Like you just really gotta be careful who you invite into your life and who you let in. Because Everything's all fine at first until those hidden intentions start start to come to the surface. Like for real, for real, you just stay focused on the bag because you see clearly. And, and that's why I'm thinking too, like, she was just trying to use him for money, for real, for real. All the time, because that's the kind of vibes that was given off. Like, he ain't really want her, for real. But he just invited the wrong one to his life. Put him in a situation where he had to do something, he did something, now he's facing the consequences of what he did. Right or wrong, it don't matter because he's not free right now. He's going to lose a lot of motion. Like, I heard that he was trying to go to a Canadian football league too. And like, all there is just on hold, even if he do get off with self-defense, like I said, it's, it's wasted time, it's time he'll never get back, loss of productivity, all of that, it's just a major setback, like, none of this is good, that's why you just gotta be careful, like, and I can only imagine what her husband is, like, thinking, like, she just on the she just on the news for all of this and this is what she's saying and you married to her. And it's like that is just so embarrassing. For real, for real. I wouldn't even help her, like divorce. Like I shouldn't have to find out you cheating through a news report because one of your brother's friends got killed or something like that. Because you was messing around, you sent them over there, and you was over there, and you on camera being over there too. So it's like, nah, look, you ain't for him, and you ain't for me either. <laughs> like that got me some real hurt right there. But. Only time will tell how it's all gonna play out. But you know, like, comment, subscribe, and we're gonna get back to you with more of these videos and everything, you know.